in this video I'm going to uh, talk about increasing by a given percent uh, in one step and then later on I'm going to explain why uh, we need to understand how to increase or decrease by uh, by a given percent in one step and how it, it's applied later on so uh, most probably I'm going to do six examples so let us get started the first question is increase 10 point eight dollars or ten dollar eighty cents by twelve percent so well <clears throat> I look at this example and say what I have to do is I have to find twelve percent of this and then add on that ten twelve percent onto ten dollars eighty so let's get started so what we have to do is to get to the answer is ten dollar eighty so it's ten point eighty plus twelve percent of ten dollars eighty that's what we want to do okay so this is nothing but ten point eight or ten point eighty uh, plus twelve percent is zero point one two uh, twelve percent is twelve out of hundred so twelve out of hundred as a decimal is zero point one two off means times ten point eight zero okay now this same thing can be written as 1 times 10.8, I'm writing only 10.8 now, plus uh, 0 0.12 times 10.8, 10.8 or 10.8 here, one and the same. I want to explain something as a side example. Suppose you have, say, 1 times 12 plus say 5 times 12 okay so if you have 1 times 12 plus 5 times 12 if you have learned distributive property that is same as 1 plus 5 times 12 okay so let us think about this without this step so this is 12 so using bed maps this is 12 and this is 60 so what I'm saying is this is 12 plus this is 5 times 12 is 60 which is 72 this is without using the distributive property so using the distributive property I can say this is same as 1 plus 6 times 12 sorry 1 plus 5 times 12 which is 6 times 12 which is 72 so what we are doing is uh, you can factor out this 1 and 5 so that is 1 plus and that's why I did 1 plus 5 in the bracket and that is 12 so instead of adding multiplying uh, 1 by 12 and then 5 by 12 that is same as multiplying 6 by 12 because you got 1 from here and 5 from here so 1 plus 5 is 12 so here this 10.80 or 10.8 is same as writing 1 times 10.8 and this is 0.12 or 0 0.12 times 10.8 so this is same as writing 1 plus 0 0.12 times 10.8 I'll explain this on a calculator both ways so this is same as 1 plus uh, point 0.12 is 1.12 times 10.8 which is of course we'll use a calculator now so this is my calculator so I'll show you both the ways so that you can understand. So what I'm saying is, if you go, let us start from here. If you don't want to, this is very important. I want to explain this later on. This is what we're going to, you should understand this. So let me go backwards. So if you go 1.12 times 10.8 is 12.096. Or... If you go like this, suppose if you go 10, 10.80, 10 you can write 80, it doesn't matter, plus 12% is 0 0.012 times 10.8, would give you the same answer. Or if you go, go in the bracket, 1 plus 0 0.12 times 10.8 would give you the same answer, 10.8, sorry. 10.8 is 12.096 this is 
0.0096. Now, if you want to write this as as uh, as two decimal points, so this is same as 12.10 or 12.1 in two decimal point. So this is very important. This process is very important. Okay, so let me take one more example. Increase five thousand dollars by eight percent. So this is five thousand plus five percent of sorry eight percent of five thousand plus eight percent of five thousand. So this is same as five thousand five thousand not fifty thousand plus. 8% is 8 out of 100, which is 0 0.08, off means times 5,000. Okay, so this is same as 1 times 5,000 plus 0 0.08 times 5,000. Okay, so this is 1 times 5,000 plus 0 0.08 times 5,000 is same as writing 1.08 okay let me do one more step so this is same as writing 1 plus 0 0.08 times 5000 which is 1.08 times 5000 so if you understand the process you don't need to do all these steps when you're looking when you're increasing by 8 percent 8 percent is 0.08 so you can directly do this step so you would be as a smart student because see at times students don't understand the relation between this and this okay so this is where the struggle happens so this is I'll use a calculator now so this is 1.08 let me delete the whole thing 1.08 times 5000 which is 5,400. Or if you go this way, let us do that way, 500 plus 8% is plus 0 0.08 times 5,000, which is 5,400. Or 1 times 5,000 plus 0 0.08 times 5,000 is 5,400. Okay, I hope it's very clear. So its answer is 5,400. So your answer is 5,400 is your answer. Okay, now what happens if it is decreasing? Decrease 66.35 by 15%. So, well, you can say this is, you have to go 66.35. Let me use white color. So this is 66.35. Decreasing means what's happening? You're taking away 15% of 66.35. See, math is all about thinking. If you can, if you're good in, if you if you like thinking, you you will uh, like math. So this is 66.35. Take away 15% means 0 0.15. Off means times 66.35. So the same thing I'm going to write as 1 times 66.35 take away 0 0.15 times 66.35. And so this is same as writing 1 minus 0 0.15 times 66.35. So let me give an example here. Okay, so let me do a side example here. Suppose you have you are going, let's say, a simple number, say 4 times, excuse me, use a different color. So this is, say, 4 times, 4 times 7 minus, uh, say, 2 times 7. Okay, so without, uh, you can do that. You can work out the answer. So, so this, this we know is how much? 7 times 4 is? 4 times 7 is 28 minus 14. 
So for 28 minus 14 is, of course, 14. But let us think, let us try to think how to do this by distributing. So this is same as going 4 minus 2 times 7, which is 2 times 7, which is 14. So this is what I'm saying. You're multiplying 1 times 66.35, take away 0.15 times 66.35 is same as 1 minus 0.5 times 66.35. And 1 minus 0.15 is point, how much? 0.85 times 66.35. Now, if you think in a different way, when you're reducing something by 15%, how much remains? If you think logically, if if you're reducing something by 15%, what remains is 85%. So I hope you can see this 0.85 is nothing but 85%. That way also you can understand. So using a calculator again, so this is 0 0.85 times 66.35. 66.35 is... 56.3975 so 56 so if you do this suppose like this if you go 66.35 take away point 15 is 15 percent so 0 0.15 times 66.35 so you should understand this and this are one and the same so 56.3975 so this is 56.3975 grams. So if you want to round this in two decimal place, you have to look at the third decimal number. So this is, ignore this, you don't have to look at this. If this number is five or more, you have to increase this by one. So this in writing in two decimal place is 56.40 grams. Okay, so this is in 2 dp, 2 decimal places. Okay, let us do this. Decrease 1850 by 4%. So again, so let us go through the th thinking process. So this is 1850 minus 4% of 1850. So this is 1850. Minus 4 percent is 0 0.04 times 1850. For this, I'm going to write as 1 times 1850 minus 0 0.04 times 1850. So, which is distributing it or uh, factoring out 1850. So you can also write like this. So this is 1850. You can factor out 1850 times 1 minus 0 0.04. So this is nothing but 1850 times, this is 1 minus 0 0.04 is 0 0.96. Or think in a different way. You're decreasing or reducing something by 4%. How much remains is 96%. So this is nothing, this 0.96, you can see, you should, should, you should be able to see this as 96%. So, so this is 1850 times 0.96 or 0 0.96, which is 1776 kg. Okay, so let us do this again, or differently, 1850, 1850, uh, take away 4% this, let me do this in a different way. 4% is 4 divided by 100. So 4 divided by 100 times 1850. See, the calculator understand the Bedman's rule. So first, we'll simplify this and then take away. So that is same answer, 1776 kg. So the answer is 1776 kg is what uh, you get after reducing by 4%. Okay, so let us apply this knowledge to work this question out. If the workers at Pizza Express uh, got an 8% increase and are now 
paid $15.75 or 15.75 per hour. Calculate the previous pay rate. Okay, so we're going to put the thinking cap on. So we're going to say, say previous pay, let us, or let me write like this, let, let previous pay rate P rate. So let me write in short. Let me let the previous the previous P rate be equal to X. Okay. So can I say and there was how much percent increase? Eight percent of increase. So can I say this is X plus eight percent of X should be fifteen point seven five. And this is where algebra becomes so useful. So this is X. This is x plus 8% of x is 0 0.08 times x is equal to, so let me not write x here because x and times gets confused. So let me previous rate, so let me write as r. Okay, so this is r plus 8% of r. r stands for the rate. So this is R plus 8% of R is equal to 15.75. Okay, so this is 1 times R plus uh, 0 0.08 times R is equal. You don't need to do all these steps. I hope by now you are smart enough. So this is 1. Oops, I don't want to show you the next example. So this is... This is nothing plus 1 plus 0 0.08 times R is equal to 15.75. So let me finish this off here. So this is 1.08 times R is 15.75. So I want to get rid of this 15 point, sorry, 1.08 because I want to get only R on the left hand side. So I'm going to divide this side by 1.08. So I'd also divide this side by 1.08. So what happens? 1.08 and 1.08 gets cancelled. So what remains on the left hand side is R is 15.75 divided by 1.08. And this is where students don't understand why you divide by 1.08. You can get the answer only by this method. So we need a calculator. So let me delete this. So this is 15.75 divided by 1.08, which is 14.58 in two decimal point. So the worker were getting $14. What was the answer? 14.58. 14.58 is the answer. So you can check the answer by going backwards, add or multiply 1.08 to this, you'll get 15.75. Okay, one more example. Yeah, after 30% discount, a t-shirt cost $24. What was the price of the t-shirt without the discount? Okay, so this is one of the lengthiest video that I'm making. So yeah, I'm uh, yeah, what happens is there was a t-shirt and there was a 30% sale and after 30% discount uh, the person could buy it for $24 so the question is what was the price without the discount or what was the price before the discount so we are putting the thinking cap on so we are going to say let price before discount or without discount without discount before discount be equal to P. Okay, so we can say P, which is a price before discount or without discount, minus 30% uh, of P is $24. Okay, so P can be written as 1 times P minus 0 0.3 times P is equal to 24. So 1 times P minus 0 0.3 times P is same as 1 minus 0 0.3 times P is equal to 24. 
here it's quite easier to understand discount because even you're paying your you are getting a discount of 30 percent how much are you paying you're paying 70 percent and i hope you can see this is 0 0.7 is nothing but 70 percent is 24. so now to get rid of this 24 sorry 0.7 from this side i'm going to divide this side by 0 0.7 so to divide this side by 0 0.7 so 0 0.7 and 0 0.7 gets cancelled so what remains is p is 24 divided by 0 0.7 so 24 divided by 0 0.7 is 34.29 writing in two decimal place 34.29 so price without discount or before discount was 34 34.29, 34.29 in two decimal places.